The Last Stand. Tanya set about destroying the last remaining heroes. Amongst others, her stepbrother Tristan. Once upon a time, long, long ago in, hell, well, you know the rest, the absolute evil had, in the fabulous predecessor to this game, taken over the entire overworld with its creatures. Now it spent its time on debauched parties and, wait a minute, the entire overworld? No! One small village of indomitable heroes still held out against the invaders. The unamused evil was beside itself with rage. But all this was about to change once and for all, because the remote control evil sent its most vicious general into the field, the Dark Elf Talia. Talia, also known from the fabulous predecessor, came back from her vacation the last defenders of good were fighting for their survival. This seemed to be the perfect time for Tristan to make his appearance, the last mighty hero of the good races. My brothers, in your eyes I see the same fear that would lead me to despair. The day may come when the courage of true heroes is extinguished, when we abandon our companions and... A few pitiful opponents. I'm gonna massacre you. Um, if I can just remember how that works again. Fortunately, Talia's instincts took over at this point, something which wannabe pro gamers often refer to as auto attack. Talia also remembered that she had a few skills that she could invoke whenever she felt like it. Oh, right! Boom! That's how it's done. <laughs> Talia's mighty storm once again stood at her disposal. Yippee ki yay, hero mucker! Your creatures have destroyed a cage. Talia had freed all the creatures. Not to be outdone by her stepbrother, she too gave a brilliant speech. Speech? Ugh, sure. Creatures! Time to punch the do-gooders right in the kisser! Forward! Punch them in the face! Kick them in the shins! Break their belt buckles so they... Trip on the pants! <laughs> hmm, yes. Very inspiring. Hasta la vista, hero boy! Talia had reached the center of battle. With another brilliant speech, she goaded her creatures on one more time. Another speech? Oh. Ding dong, the hero's dead. 
that okay? Honestly, I don't know if I can work with you like this. <clears throat> After Talia's words, the creatures surged forward and flocked to their linguistically under-talented leader. Or would like to, but the defenses on the left and right flanks made progress impossible. Tanya had to destroy them in order to receive further support. left defensive flank could no longer withstand the breaching evil's creatures. The hero's defense collapsed on the right flank. The monstrous evil's creatures flocked to Talia. Excellent. I can always use more cannon fodder. I, I mean, um, loyal subordinates. <laughs> Your army has just decreased in size due to death. I'm here. Thanos deserved what he got. And I thought to myself, hmm, hey, like father, like son. You will pay for your deeds, sister. The light will protect me. Sister, turn from evil and come back to the side of good. See the power of light. With these words, Tristan was bathed in a golden light that seemed to protect him. As if that were not troublesome enough, a number of magical portals opened at the same time. Huh. As if this wasn't dragging on way too long already. Can't we just jump straight to the point where I greedily take over the world? Forward, creatures! Smash the portals! That magic junk pulled up blood. My brothers, in your eyes I see the same fear that would lead me to despair. The day may come when the courage of true heroes is extinguished. When we abandon our companions and all bonds of friendship are broken. But that day is still far off. Stand fast, heroes of the West! Oh, didn't you spout that same bullshit earlier? In exactly the same words. No, not at all. I am known for my brilliant speeches, wicked stepsister. I seem to remember that whenever you were supposed to speak in front of the class, we had to get a mop. You'll pay for that. Onward, faithful! Destroy the evil! Another one for the Grim Reaper, or oh, Grim Reaperess, I'm not picky.
All the magical portals have been destroyed, and with them, Tristan's shield went up in smoke. <laughs> That's the way I like it. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. I was just about to kick my stepbrother's butt. Sister, it doesn't have to end this way. Join me. Together we can still save the world. Oh, can't you just die and spare us all the embarrassing melodrama? Talia, this isn't the end. We'll meet again. Tristan had managed to give Tanya the slip. Hammer time. Round two. The essence of absolute evil held the... Tristan! Let me... The wafting evil had to get rid of that dwarven contraption on the overworld as it posed a threat to the underground and with it, the dungeon heart. It was therefore necessary to build a mighty dungeon, or rather, to have one built, because as a wafting essence, the disembodied evil could not do much itself.
gold hungry evil had built a treasury. The meager amount that could be stored in the throne room was simply not even close to enough for a proper gold bar. Delicious gobblers were raised to serve as food for the horde. had built a hideout for the horde's creatures. These could henceforth build themselves a place to rest there. The army raising evil had recruited its first creature, a bit underwhelming considering that it was sitting on the throne of the gods a short time ago. But fresh starts are never easy. the hand of terror, not only to intervene, but also to lend its little snots the impetus they needed by giving them a spirited slap. 
the detestable evil had earned some delicious evilness. Excellent things could be done with it, such as researching new stuff. However, first, a place had to be found where the evilness could be stored. The absolute evil quickly built a vault of evilness. evil had built a vault of evilness. This allowed it to henceforth store evilness and use it. And Oi! No need to sit around there, please. When we could be picking up a little gold while we're here, eh? On you go, lads. Grab the nearest gold vein. Sooner or later, the greedy dwarves would dig their way into the dungeon. The perfidious evil used a workshop to prepare traps 